Next, we determine Rankine's crippling load. We know Rankine's crippling load PR is given as sigma uc multiplied by a the whole upon 1 plus a into le by k square where your k is your radius of gyration and we know the radius of gyration is given by the formula k is equal to square root of i upon a since your moment of inertia i is given as a k square so now first we determine this radius of gyration k which is equal to square root of pi by 64 into 200 to the power 4 minus 150 to the power 4 upon pi by 4 into 200 square minus 150 square so we get the value of k is equal to 62.5 mm so now upon substituting the value of k in this equation and upon substituting values of all these parameters in this PR equation we get PR is equal to sigma uc which is 550 newton per mm square multiplied by area which is pi by 4 into 200 square minus 150 square the whole upon 1 plus 1 by 1600 into your LA is same as that of L which is equal to 6000 upon 62.5 square so upon solving this we get the value of PR equal to 1.118 into 10 to the power 6 Newton so this is equivalent to 1.118 mega Newton so this is a second answer now comparing this PR with PE we get the ratio of PR by PE is equal to 1.118 upon 1.767 so this is equal to 0.632 so the ratio of Rankine's crippling load to the Euler's crippling load is equal to 0.632 for a given length of 6 meter and with both ends hinged so with this problem is over thanks for watching in 5 minutes